it from Rue. 1994 summer backyard barbecue. I see. I'll take your man to keep my two. <laughs> so we can be locked in forever. So this pixie wig that I am wearing is from Sensational. And this is the box that came in. It is their wet lace and her name is Keishana, of course. <laughs> and she's a synthetic wig. And if y'all don't know, I'm gonna let y'all know something. I don't do synthetic, like, I'm not that girl. I don't do synthetic hair. But this this hair got me feeling real mature, real grown and sexy. That's why I put the cheek print on it. <laughs> if you guys want to see how I install this wig, stay tuned. I'm starting off by sectioning off my hair using my three alligator clips. Then I'm going to cut my hair into three parts just to make the process of gluing down this wig a little bit easier. This glue is from the wig dealer and I'm going to apply it three times. I'm gonna lay one layer down very thinly, blow dry it, smooth it out with my wooden spatula, which you can get from anywhere. I got mine from Dollar Tree. And then I am going to apply it two more times and make sure it's clear each time. Since this is a synthetic wig, I'm not going to use my hot comb because it is going to burn the hair. So I am just going to make sure that I press my regular comb, my rat tail comb, into this lace to make sure that it stays in place. I'm using True Match Lace Conceal in the color bronze to tint my lace, as well as going in with my powdered contour palette from Ulta just to add a little extra tint to this lace. Stop. 
love it, shake that ass, grow up the crown. I'm tying my hair down with an elastic band and this is going to make sure that your lace melts into your skin and I got mine from Walmart and I'm going to leave my elastic band on for about 15 to 20 minutes Now I'm just using my razor to cut away the excess lace. I'm going in with my bigger razor to shape the hair to frame my face and just to give the hair a little bit more volume and body. I literally use this mousse for everything. I'm going in with my Nairobi mousse and I am just forming my baby hairs. But I had a little difficulty because this is synthetic hair. So eventually I just switched up and used my got to be glue gel. That seems to work better for the synthetic hair as far as molding and laying my baby hairs down in place. While my edges dry, I'm just going to lay my handy dandy edge layer over them just so they stay in place. And yes, ladies, I will be selling this soon, so be on the lookout. And this whole time, I've been telling y'all, I don't know what color this is. This is my color on this Ulta Contour Palette. Y'all, why the name been there all along? Right under each color, like... Am I blind or not? Nah? It's, it's giving scrub the ground. It really is. It's giving scrub the ground. But y'all see the baby hairs on this stuff? Huh. Like she did that. Who? Who she? Keyshawna. <laughs> Keyshawna did that. have to do too much Keyshawn, okay? Where's Uncle Joe? I need my money, okay? I need my shmoney, okay? 